Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to extract metadata from images using Python. Before we get started, let's review the packages we'll use. These include IPython, Pillow, and IPyLeaflet. Please note I am using Google Colab to run this notebook. I recommend setting up a virtual environment or running this notebook using a web IDE such as Google Colab. The first thing that I want to do is I want to install IPyLeaflet and import the packages that we'll use. Now that we have those imported, let's review what metadata is, which is structured information that describes, explains, locates, or otherwise makes it easier to retrieve, use, or manage an information resource. Metadata is often called data about data or information about information. For example, if we have a digital photograph, the metadata that comprises the photograph includes the location where the photograph was taken, the time the photograph was taken, and the type of camera used to take the photograph. What I want to do first is upload the image that we're going to work with. I'm going to go to Files, and then I'm going to drag and drop my image into the content folder here. Once that's uploaded, then we'll display it. I am going to call display.image. Then I am going to input the path the image is contained in. So we hit the three buttons here and copy path then I am going to paste it. I'm also going to set the height and the width of the image. And we can see that we have our image displayed. Here I have an image of myself rock climbing. And what I want to do is I want to extract the metadata that tells me where this photograph was taken, what time it was taken, along with any other useful information I may find. The way that we can retrieve metadata from photographs is with exif files, also known as exchange image file format. This stores metadata for digital photographs. Many phones and cameras create these data files each time a picture is taken. Here I have a function that was created by a user from a Stack Overflow post. I have the link to the post here, and I'm just going to explain this function. This function takes in one input, which is the file name, it's going to be the image itself. You just paste it into the parameter. What it does first is it creates a empty dictionary. Then it takes the image and it opens it using pillows image. After that, once the image is written into the image pillow class, then it is going to retrieve any information by using the dot underscore get exif function. Once that information is retrieved, then it goes through an if statement. So if there's information, then it is going to code all of that information and it is going to retrieve any relevant information, including GPS information. And then it returns a dictionary of all that information. So let's run the cell. And then let's extract the information from our image. I'm going to call the variable containing the data exif data. I'm going to call get exif. And then I am going to input the path that contains the image. So let's run this. Next, I am going to print the information. We can see here that we have the information printed. This includes the size of the image. So the image width and image length, we can see this in pixels. We can see that within the dictionary, we have another dictionary that contains the GPS information. Then we can see that we have other information, the date it was created, the brightness of the image, exposure, and other camera details. What I want to do first is I want to extract the date and time the picture was taken. What we're going to do is we're going to call on our exif data. So since this is a Python dictionary, we can use a key to retrieve the data if it's there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to input date time. And we can see here that we have the date and the time that the photo was taken. So it was taken February 22nd, 2023 at 1237 and 55 seconds. So since we have the date and time that the picture was taken, next what I want to do is I want to grab the location where the image was taken. What we need to do is we need to calculate the decimal degrees which is a notation for expressing latitude and longitude geographic coordinates as a decimal fractions of a degree. DD are used in many geographic information systems, web mapping applications such as OpenStreetMap and GPS devices. So we are going to create a function here. I'm going to call it def 
GPS extract. And it is going to take one input, which is the exif dict. And this is going to be the data that we extracted from the image using our function. The first thing that I want to do is I want to create a variable called GPS metadata. And what it's going to do is it's going to take this dictionary and it is going to isolate just the GPS information. And if we bring up our exif data variable, what I could do is I can bring it up and we can see the exact information that we are going to look to save. So this is going to be the information that we're going to save into this variable. Next, I need to run some calculations for the latitudinal and longitudinal information. We'll start with the lat latitudinal information. So for positive latitudes, they're north of the equator, negative latitudes are south of the equator, and we need to factor that into our calculation. I'm going to call lat ref num r latitude indicator, and this is going to be a positive one or a negative one. So if our GPS latitude reference is north, then it is going to be a positive one. If it's south, it's going to be a negative one. And we can see that if we look here, we can see the latitude reference is south. So this should be negative for our image. Next, I am going to create a latitude list and I'm going to use this using list comprehension. So we can see that we have our GPS latitude here. If I go in further and we can see the GPS latitude, we have this tuple. And let's take a look at the first element and we'll see that it is not a floating type, but it's actually a pillow class object that we need to convert to a floating a Python floating number. And that's what we're doing with our list comprehension here just so we can follow along. Now that we have our latitude list, we need to run some additional calculations. And I need to actually get the latitude coordinate. What we're doing for the latitude coordinate is we need to take the degrees, minutes, and seconds. And for the seconds here, we have to divide that by 60. For the, the minutes, we divide that by 60. And the seconds, we need to buy, divide by 3,600. Then we need to multiply by the latitude reference number. In this case, it's going to be a negative one. And this is going to be our latitude coordinate that we are going to use to plot the location of our image. Next, we're going to do the same exact thing except for the longitude. So like before, I need to start with a reference number. And this time, if it's in the east, then we're going to have a positive one. If it's in the west, we're going to have a negative one. Like before, we're going to create this longitude list that is going to turn all these numbers into floating point numbers. And then finally run the calculation like before. Then we are going to return a tuple that contains the latitude coordinate and the longitude coordinate. So let's take a look at this. So I'm going to run GPS extract and I am going to input our exif data. Here we can see we have the latitude and longitude in tuple format. What I want to do is I want to plot this using IPy leaflet. The way that we do this is we're going to first create our center. So our center is going to be this GPS extract information. After that, I am going to create our map. So using IPy leaflets map class, I'm going to input the center as the center. And then I want to zoom in a little bit so we can see. So I'm going to set the zoom is equal to 15. I also want to include a marker. So we'll create a marker variable. And then I'm going to use the marker class using an uppercase marker. Input the location equal to the center. And I also want to specify that I don't want to make it draggable. So I'm going to say false. I want to add this marker to our layer. So I'm going to m.add layer and add our marker. Finally, I am going to plot our map. Let's run this. And we were able to plot the location where the image is. And it's the Pedra de Gavia mountain 
in Brazil. So if I zoom out, we'll see that this was actually taken in Rio de Janeiro in the Tijuca forest. Highly recommend it for anybody that loves to go out in nature. It was a really fun time, but we now know where the image was taken. Moving on, let's try to take a look at a different image where we may not have metadata. So I'm going to upload an image and this is going to be a image of football star Neymar. Let's display it. And we can see that we have the image of him here. So let's try to get exif for this image. So like before, we're just going to call the ex get exif function and then we are going to try to retrieve it from this. When we run it, we'll notice that we have a empty dictionary. This is because there's no metadata for this image. So if you go to Google Images or Bing Images and you try to extract metadata, some of it might be wiped clean just because the image is being reused multiple times or people delete it. So you may want to actually erase the data. So I may not want people knowing where I was for where the image was taken. So we can remove the information as well. The way that we can do that is we can simply overwrite it or create a copy that does not create the data. I'm going to create a variable called image and I'm going to use pillows image class and I'm going to open our image. Next, I want to save the image. We can either overwrite the climb photo. In this case, I'm going to create a new copy of the image and I am going to call it climb no meta. Okay, we can see that we have it created. I can display it like before. You can see that we have the image copy created. Let's try to get the exif data from it now. And we can see that our copy does not create have any information about the image itself. And you may want to do this if you don't want other people accessing the metadata for the photos you're sharing with friends, family, or other people. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included multiple references in the references and additional learning section here. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks again, everyone, for watching, and happy coding.